John Williams is back and so is your Star Wars. Spoilers in this review. You were warned. Thanks for stopping in at Down the Road Show. Click now if you haven't seen Star Wars because I just can't help myself with the spoilers. So here we go. Star Wars is back. Thank you very much, J.J. Abrams. I know you've been called a fanboy director by a lot of people out there that didn't like some of your work, but thank God you are. Now, a lot of my friends hated the last two movies. I didn't mind it so much. Ryan Johnson tried to burn the whole thing down, and I was okay with that. Let's start anew and see what they do with the last movie, but whoo boy, J.J. He wasn't having any of that. He honored the last two movies, but then... He gave you all the best bits of the original trilogy that you wanted. So for all of you that had a bad feeling about this, you were wrong. Nothing but good feels here, that's for sure. Okay, the movie starts out extremely fast paced, full of anxiety, and just the pacing of it is absolutely amazing. It's gonna get your blood boiling and get you going just right. Uh, but guess who's back? Lando's back. Ooh, Lando's back, and once again proving he's the baddest black man in the galaxy. No offense, Finn. But, oh, uh, so good seeing Billy D. Williams on the screen again. Uh, pretty much everybody's back. You're going to cry. And Anthony Daniels, C-3PO, delivering the performance of a lifetime. And keep your eyes open, because you just might see him as another character, not behind all the shiny gold. But bravo that they even did that. Uh, you fanboys are gonna be pissed off at the ending. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of fanboys are gonna be really pissed off at the ending. I think you fangirls are gonna love it. You fangirls, I think, will love it. I loved it. I was, uh, it brought all so many kinds of feels. And once again, tells the story, I mean, of family. Family's who you choose, not who your blood relatives are. That's such a hard life lesson sometimes for people. And you choose your family. You choose your rebel alliance. You choose to be empire. You don't have to be born into it. You choose to be good or bad. So that being said in the comments here, uh, is Rey the first gray Jedi? Accepting that she's not perfect and accepting her darkness inside and choosing the light and choosing just, you know, to be her. She may be the first gray Jedi, that's great. Uh, but some of the fight scenes, some of the, they were using the force in ways you haven't seen in other movies uh, combined. It reminded me a lot of some of the really amazing Star Wars video games out there. So you're gonna see some crazy badass moves. There's all, all kinds of great action sequences. It may be now my second favorite Star Wars film. I'm gonna have to go see it a few more times in the theater before I make up my mind. Empire Strikes Back has always struck a chord with me in its grittiness, its darkness, and this lived up to that, where uh, the good guys don't always win. They don't. The good guys don't always win, and it's gonna be a tough fight. And what makes it through the fight? Why do the good people win? Because I honestly believe that there's more good people out there on this planet than there are bad people. It's togetherness. It's choosing your family. It's choosing your battles and your fights and who you're gonna fight alongside with. And just, an amazing message, because that's always been the message and the theme behind Star Wars. It, it's uh, the spirituality behind the Force and togetherness has always spoken to me, you know. Whereas in Star Trek, you know, that's mm, very logical, very thinking, you know, uh, and, 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 all, and all about the gadgets. Star Wars is about what's inside and you choosing to believe in yourself and believing that you have the power to choose your destiny, to control your fate and to be a good person. So uh, have fun in the comments and uh, can't wait to see how many of you are pissed and how many of you loved it. Go ahead, let me have it. I don't care, I can take it, but we're gonna be talking about this more. We're launching the new podcast really soon here in a few weeks and I'll be talking about this with different nerd friends from you know different parts of the industry from around the country. So uh, hit that subscribe button, like this, don't like it, share it, I don't care. Leave your comments. If you hate me and you completely disagree with me, I wanna hear about it below in the comments. So make sure you subscribe to this channel because 
There's going to be a lot more discussions about this with my friends coming up in the upcoming podcast starting in January 2020. Thanks for coming to Down the Road Show. Star Wars is back, baby. Real quick shout out to Norm Ratman, you jerk. Can't believe you were right. Ever since the last movie, you called that Ray was a Palpatine. You were right. Like, did you tell JJ to put that in the script? Anyway, go follow Norm Ratman. He's one of the smartest nerds I know, and he's an amazing artist that works for DC. And, well, you know, he's for hire. He's great. But yeah, go follow Norm Ratman. I apologize. I've been giving you crap for two years, Norm. My bad. <laughs>